Dr. D again. We're talking coronavirus. We're at the Worldometer site again and we're looking at statistics because it's one of the only ways you can quantify what's going on and not get incredibly inundated with politics and other baloney. But nevertheless, we're looking now at countries and coronavirus. I've been receiving some feedback on my videos as well as my comments on other videos and some people have a hard time understanding why I'm so complimentary about Sweden in their management of this disease. Now take into account that in order to simplify all these stats, I'm primarily looking at a daily death rate and a cumulative death rate. And the reason I'm doing that is everything else regarding this disease is very much a gray zone item. If you look at the number of cases, I would argue that the number we don't know about probably is greatly exceeding the number we do know about. So when people test for acute infection with coronavirus, I don't think it really tells us very much. Countries that have more capacity to test are going to get large numbers here, and what it actually means is fairly nebulous. Now, death is a pretty easy to quantify item. Death is a bad thing. We should be doing what we can to minimize death, particularly continuing death. That's the way I look at the stats. So the, regarding the countries at present anyway, this is the country statistics at Worldometer. If you look at total deaths per million population, I think that is the one of the high level statistics on coronavirus because it's hard to fake that unless you're just going to suggest they're your conspiracy theorist and you're going to suggest everybody's misreporting. But and people probably are fudging this number a little bit. But if you look at total deaths per million population, Sweden is at 561. That's a pretty high number. It's number seven on the world list. UK is greater. USA is a little bit smaller, but not by a lot when you take into account that Sweden, to their credit, has basically shut this number down. As we've shown, the statistics on Sweden show that despite the fact that they had a lot of deaths early on, Currently, daily deaths are on a steady decline, and now they're experiencing a very, very low number of daily deaths. And this is for a country with 10 million people in it. So this is not a tiny little country. So if you look at Sweden in that regard, they've been kind of successful. Sure, they had early death, but their deaths now are a whole lot less in a daily way. So when I say Sweden has been good with regards to how they manage this disease, I think the fact that they had the guts to limit their quarantines and look at a herd immunity picture in the absence of a vaccine took a lot of courage, despite the fact that a lot of the countries around them in Europe were very, uh, they, they <clears throat> pretty much insulted them for doing this, saying they were killing people. And you can make the argument that with a viral epidemic of this type, you cannot eliminate death. All you can do is try to do what you can to minimize it. So when I say Sweden has been successful, I am mainly centering upon the fact that despite the fact that they had death early on, if you look at the total deaths, it's reaching an asymptotic value, meaning it's basically stopping. No other country in Europe has that situation, and the U.S. doesn't either. If you even, correct, if you even compare Sweden to California, they have more deaths per million people but their deaths have stopped, essentially, very much lower than what we experience in a similar amount of the population in California or the U.S. in general. So my point on Sweden is I still think with time, once the statistics for the fact that they are not having current deaths start to wash out their deaths per, per million, meaning other countries are going to continue to lose people to the coronavirus. And that's not something Sweden's gonna see as much unless their death rate goes up, which if herd immunity is what I think it is for this disease, that they won't really experience. So that's basically where we sit right now regarding Sweden and the US in comparison in coronavirus. Thanks a lot, everybody.